What's going on, everybody? We're back with another episode of Detroit Become Human. When we last left off. Oh, huh, it's our boy, Connor. Hmm. As I was saying, find Amanda. Who is Amanda? Um, anyway, uh, when we last left off, we were with the female android, Kara, and the little girl. Now we are back with Connor, the android cop. And we must find Amanda. So let's figure out who she is before we start finding someone. Find Amanda. Okay. Mm, are you Amanda? Hello, Amanda. Oh, she is Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. I expected you to find the deviant who killed that man. I must admit, I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm sorry. I know I should have succeeded. Never mind. I'm sure you'll show more foresight in the future. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Uh, unsure, unsure. He's obviously not what I was expecting. But I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Um, uh, adapt? Yeah. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation uh, that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Continue your investigation and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Woman has a lot of faith in me. Whoever the, she is. You know, she's giving me um, Oracle vibes from the Matrix. I don't know. That's not just because she's black. Well, maybe it has a lot to do with it, but. <laughs> Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Go to reception. Mm. Might be in shock. Tensions in the Take Arctic have reached a new level. No access without a prior authorization. An American patrol boat reported to have crashed last night. Sure. Several warning shots were exchanged. Apparently, with no doubt. How do we get authorization? Uh. Fort Crime. It's okay. Now, why does the police station look like the DMV? Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? So far, there has been yes. no response from either Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you minute by minute as the situation develops. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Is that simple? Following calls from concerned neighbors. Known to the police as a petty criminal, Mr. Ortiz is reported to have suffered from a psychiatric condition and rarely left his apartment. He is thought to have died several weeks ago. The police are conducting forensic tests, but appear to be treating the death as a homicide. <laughs> the victim's android is also reported missing. We'll bring you more on that story as it develops. Uh, all right. Looks like I'm just disappointing everybody today. Authorization granted. Found Lieutenant Anderson's desk. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
They like charging. That's cool. Android unit, Android cop 2035. Huh? Interestante. Ooh, who's that? Um, there's no name tag on that desk. Uh, I saw something. Oh, that's our boy from the last one. Last episode, Carl Manfred, one of Detroit's brightest lights. Uh. Not my fault. Uh, Russian president responds to warns warning. Cyber life's world threat trend off. Global population reaches 10 billion. Oh, Jesus. Jeez Louise. 10 billion people. How many people do we have on the planet right now? Isn't it like 7.6 billion, something like that? Wow. That's scary to think about. Uh, Carl Manfred, one of the Detroit's brightest lights. Reports for famous artist Carl Manfred's deaths have been confirmed. The coroner described a fatal cardiac event induced by a stressful domestic situation. Manfred's son, Leo, had asked the media to respect his family's privacy. Man, what a asshole man carl manfred rose to fame in the 2020s as a figurehead of neo symbolism with powerful and dark words in the mold of francis bacon proliferate years followed until the dark period marked by alcohol and drugs but the artist had apparently returned to work in the recent months the governor of detroit expressed her condolences to the family on behalf of the city Describing Manfred as one of Detroit's brightest lights, a collection of Manfred's paintings will be auctioned by his estate in the coming weeks. Man, that's sad. Uh, Alright. see a break room here. Okay. I can't go do any exploring? Hmm. Okay. And the funny thing about it, this cop <laughs> reminds me of the captain from iRobot. Black ball headed guy in iRobot. Uh, comment in the uh, uh, comments if you remember that. Come on, I think they got inspiration from these movies. Detective Collins, okay. Also, not what I'm looking for. Tim Anderson. Ben. Ben. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Wait for Lieutenant Anderson. La 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 la. Yes. Listen. Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. <laughs> uh, hang up.
How's my driving? Anti-Android slogans. Use your brain, not your Android. Okay. basketball so I'm assuming maybe he can use these clues that we're finding in this to develop maybe a relationship with Detective Anderson all right Detroit police dismantled a network of red ice dealers more than 50 arrests throughout the country Detroit's finest dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic with a number of high profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars narcotics seized with the street value of 500,000 detective Hank Anderson a young but hugely talented detective is said to have been instrumental with the operation which took months of planning the DA described the work of detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigative police work all right well, got a model cop here Okay, it was a decorated officer. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. Looks like Ving Rames. Something tells me he doesn't have a great working relationship with his boss. But at the same time, his boss probably still trusts him. Let's see. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel! <laughs> this conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Like why a married you doing couple. This to me? <laughs> Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you <laughs> hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. This is great dialogue. <sighs> oh, man. Uh, I'm leave on a positive note. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> uh. Have a nice day, Captain. Mm. You gotta love the hard-boiled top stereotype in video games and movies. Uh, all right. Hey, Hank. How are you? Last night, understanding. Uh, I kind of don't even want to bring up last night, honestly. Um, understanding. Uh, I do understanding. I get the impression really my forensic. presence causes you some inconvenience, right. Lieutenant. Watch yourself. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Partners. He probably doesn't want to hear that with partners. Positive. Uh... I would do partners just because now that we're partners it would be great to get to know each other better <laughs> okay um positive in any case i'd like you to know i'm very happy to be working with you i'm sure we'll make a great team all right i'm in my wits in here is there a desk anywhere i could use no one's using that one All right. Mm. 
Oops. Basketball into Androids. Yeah, basketball. Why You're not? You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Alrighty. Uh, music. No. Anti-androids. Something tells me he doesn't give a shit about any of this stuff up there. I'm just gonna go. Okay, hours. I was wondering. Do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? I don't know if there's anything I can say to this guy, really. Though. Uh, man. Anti, anti, anti-androids. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. Okay. All right. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Mm. Missing. Court date 2038. Date of offense. Court of Lopez. Disappearance case file. The plaintiff reports that he has left with Android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, Android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break in the apartment. Android may have left the home without being ordered to. Suspect. Charles Bell, Lieutenant Anderson, case status open involving Anderson. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by AV500 number 234-777-821, model Android working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain. Man, is this a run-on sentence? Where are the commas? Jesus. Situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the Android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The Android remains at large. Okay, suspect. Another Sarah Cornwall. Plaintiff claims we've been attacked by our android, AP700. Okay, a lot of attacks. Missing. Is this a human? Another android. Wait a minute. Detroit Police Department. Okay. Case of sign. Man. Plaintiff, Eden, I'm explaining to him, sex android. Android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. Destroyed. Attempted Leo Manfred, victim. Oh. This is our uh, Android Marcus, I'm betting. Famous painter Carl Manfred was found dead in his home following an altercation between his Android and his son. The latter's witness statement attests to the Android behaving violently. The Android is thought to be a prototype. Unknown model and serial number. It was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. We have another one. Another. This is Carr, it seems. Todd Williams is the victim. The plaintiff claims he was violently attacked by his domestic android, an AX400 model. The android had just returned from being repaired the previous day and had shown signs of aggression in the past. Yeah, that's total BS. A terrible person. A terrible father. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Aggressive, professional, understanding. I'm gonna be direct. I'm tired of this guy. You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? We really need the forensics. Not gonna threaten the guy, but we'll get to the mission. 
I suggest you sort out your personal issues and let me work with someone more competent. Oh, wait a minute. Listen, asshole. Uh oh. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. I didn't expect Makes it that. Nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Oh, man. So far, we are not doing good with Connor's part. A lot of bad things are happening. Um, I don't think there was anything that we could have done differently that would have taken us somewhere different. So I'll take it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare? No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. Bath, hungry, tired. Um, bath. How about a nice warm bath? And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What do you say? I'll run you back. We started off a little rocky with the child, but I like where this is headed. Probably a good idea to hmm. Hmm. nice a pixie cut. I always like pixie cuts. Blonde, white, black. Ah, uh, we didn't buy any color so I don't know how we're gonna do this but hmm. let's go black what the okay that's some next level ish but okay wow white did her hair even change the color looks like it changed brown let me see what white looks like okay Black, black does not look black. But uh, I like white actually though, so that's a little white. Yeah. That's cool. You know there's a lot of women who wish they had that power. Oh, what are you doing sister? Another one that disconnected from the matrix. That's what I like to call it, at least. Stop. Oh, stop the water.
Who's that? You're pretty like that. It's you really here. look like a human now. Your bath's ready. Mm. U.S. expectancy now 91. Huh. U.S. life expectancy now 91. Although that may sound like a good thing, off first glance, but... <laughs> The longer people are uh, taken to die, the more overpopulated we're getting. I'm not saying that that's a huge problem in this future, but I hope they're finding ways to mitigate that problem if we're having longer life expectancies. It only makes sense. Blah, 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 blah. Android free, in Canada, Android free zone, interesting. And with the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Discover the landscape, discover the water. Why doesn't Canada want androids? Hmm. Still, and despite the United States voting in its Android Act as early as 2020, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit androids in the country. As a result, androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. Let's stop the control. Sorry. Okay. Guess that's useful information. Okay, so she's taking a bath by herself, I guess. That's okay. Draw. Oh, it's raining. It's a very shady part of town. What are we supposed to be doing right now? What time is it? It's still 10.31, okay. Uh. Boston Marathon, nice. Thanks, Michael. I'm joined by Corktown resident Todd Williams, who was violently attacked by his AX-400 around yeah, 11 right. p.m. last night. Todd, can you tell us what happened? I was having dinner. I was minding my own business. Mm -hmm. The damn thing jumped on me. Managed to defend myself, but it went crazy. I thought it was going to kill me. Should have. So I fought it off, but it ran away. Thank you, Todd. Disturbing news for Android owners everywhere. Police have launched a search to find the Android. Let's hope they find it fast. Hmm. Ha, it's nothing but a dirty, filthy liar. It's not true. He's lying. He's the one who tried to hurt us. What are we going to do? We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. Can't stay here, family. Contact Android. What Android? Family? We can't stay here. We can't stay here. We don't have any money. That's for sure. Contact Android. What family or what contact Android? I'm unsure of these two decisions. Do contact Android. That Android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. What, that tweaker? We're following up on his lead? Oh my goodness. That does not sound like a proper idea. Moving, determined, comforting, supportive, comforting. We can't change the past, Alice. Man. But we can decide the future. We're gonna pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Well, I say, yeah, she always knows the perfect thing to say. Finished getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going.
That's his bath thing. Get breakfast for Alice. Oh, there's breakfast right here. We got a little bar. No, no. I didn't mean to pick that up again. Put that down. But we gave we bought this bar, didn't we? Well, we didn't buy it, we stole it, but uh, Oh. Hmm. Connor and Lieutenant Anderson. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't take androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Uh oh. Thank you. Search Motel 28. Okay, we're back. Playing the sink. That switch up was kind of. You wait in the car. Diplomatic, rational, diplomatic. Diplomatic. I think it's best if I go with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. you Want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. <laughs> man, Hank, I don't know what to do with you, man. I'm not going back in that car, though. I'm following him. Man, Hank has a huge stick up his arse. It's gone. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, wow. Sneak past cops. Um, hide. Is the destination danger level? Oh, okay, that's the destination. So we need to get a taxi. Um, wait, wait a minute. Fifty-two. The danger level is rising. Okay. Um, cop there. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay. I feel like. Where's the location? I thought we. Oh, okay. Danger level. Da oh, easy. Oh, fuck, that's death! Hey, stop! Uh, Police! I feel like I couldn't avoid that. Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. Is that as fast as you are, Connor? With that Android speed? So slow. They're over there! Don't shoot! We need it alive! Oh, fuck. 
That's insane. Okay. Okay, this is getting crazy. This is crazy. Hey, where are you going? I can't let them get away. They won't. They'll never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. Connor! God damn it! That was intense, man. I thought I was gonna die. Are you okay? What's wrong? Wow. Oh man. You gotta execute with these buttons. Something fierce. Run the car, run. Trophy earned, man. Oh, man. So, the relationship that Connor has with Lieutenant Anderson is just slowly, <laughs> slowly, slowly, like, descending into madness. Several sources report that Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have... Hey, it's our boy Marcus. I think Marcus may be my favorite character. I feel like he's gonna have the best story when everything's all said and done. Jericho. They missed you. Oh, yeah? There's some change. What do you say? Saw something over here. Something. What is that? Detroit today. Yeah, it looks like car. I'm not surprised. Apparently she did. Yeah. I know. Runaway machine causes panic in Camden. Residents in the Detroit yeah. suburb of Camden sure. are witness to a thrilling chase today after a police manhunt including roadblocks and dozens of police interviews flush out felony fugitive. But this is a fugitive with a difference. The suspect is an android. The Rogue AX400 model is thought to be suffering from an extremely rare malfunction and took extremely measures to avoid police even dashing across a busy highway. Mm. Running a machine causes panic in Camden. I would need statements are inclusive and with no official report, it's impossible to say for sure what really happened, but local news co correspondents are looking into the case at this very moment. No CyberLife spokesperson was available for comment, and the speculation looks set to continue. All right, nice. So there's no doubt that they're not talking about car. Android to astronauts and exploration. Yeah. Okay, I don't really care about anything else. All right. Uh, sorry about that. 
So L2 graffiti. Um, okay. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. Did we already look at that? Look around to find the graffiti in the environment. I thought that's what I was doing. Graffiti was this that they're talking about. Okay, is that like a tiger and a boxing glove in the bottom left hand corner? Um, that's what it looks like. All right. Android only. Interesting. Yeah, but it dealt with humans. Makes sense. <laughs> She's glitching. Oh, oh sorry. Excuse me. Ah, <sighs> that scared me. You just pickpocket me. That's a pickpocket. I feel like he just pickpocketed me. But uh, I can't chase him though. I, uh. Ooh, can I talk to this person? I'm trying to talk. Do you know where Jericho is? Alright. I think this is it. Boxing glove, the tiger. Or lion. Um, it's definitely the, okay. That's it, right? Yep. The next symbol. We found this symbol, right? to decipher the graffiti. There it is. Clue updated. Uh, let me see that again. Purple, pink, red. Okay, whatever. Gotta find a road that has. Oh, wait a minute. Is that up, up ahead? Oh. Okay. Let me use the crosswalks like a good human. Oops, sorry. Probably should obey what they say if I'm gonna use them. Just look normal. Okay. Let's try to blend in. This looks like it, right? Yeah, okay, yep, that's definitely it. I see this. I see it there. Another symbol, though. Uh, 
Uh, is there two? Yeah, I think there's two. Uh, that looks like another. <clears throat> and then the sign over a robot's head. See some robots. It's another one. I saw something. Maybe. Okay, no. It was nothing. I think we're on the right trail. I think. Follow the trail to Jericho. Um, maybe we needed to. I have an idea. I like that he can run when you actually need him to run. What if I get on top of this? No? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I saw another sign. There it is. Yep. Tripping? No, I see that. Yeah, I see that. We already did the sign over there, though, didn't we? The one underneath the robot, over top of the robot. We already looked at that one. Oh, missed an important clue here. Okay. We have two here and three here. Got you. Okay. Now we can get the one on the building. the roof. Uh yeah this seems like a good way to reach the roof. We didn't think this all the way through. Okay, we got that graffiti sign, but oh, there's another one. It's two. Is there another one. I like the little puzzle element to this game as well. Uh, 
for someone this wall? No? Okay. We did that one already. something very slight okay uh. mm. I need to phone a friend uh. Uh. I'm kind of stuck right here sad to admit it, but I don't know what's next. Uh, hmm. I feel very slow right now. did that. There's one more stupid symbol to find. I need help. Bad. Oh, wait a minute, what was that? Wait a minute. I see that? No. My mind playing tricks on me. Just run around for a little bit. Alright, I'm sorry, y'all. I need to go um, to consort with a uh, menu or something. Give me one second. Why well, should be something very stupid? So, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but the clue has been in my face, it seems like the whole time. I just had to look a little bit closer, as you can see, and the clue kind of showed itself to me. Um, did you see that? <laughs> look at that. How was I supposed to see that? Come on. Uh, sparkle. Oh, man. Man, that, that was a headache. Well, 
Super Madu. Huh? I'm sorry, but what? Use the right stick to select a route. Okay. Then what? Unstable, we want with L2 to try another route. And this is trippy. So, that wouldn't work. Okay. No. I think that's still unstable as well, so no. Um. Runs there and did that. Ah, that'll work. Yeah, let's do that. Parkour. All right, let's see what we got here. Saw something that says sparkle. Sparkle City. Okay, I see one, two, three clues in there already. Okay. Bam. Bam. Where's the other one? Oh. Bam. Uh, thank you, ma'am. All right. And where's that? What's the goal? Okay. No, that would not be solid enough. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now what? Okay, I think that could work. Oh, no, no. That would hurt. If you were human. Okay. Um. Did this one though, did we not? Yeah. Oh, okay, there's another option. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Huh. Ooh, be too high. Alright. But instead of that, what about this way. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Too easy. Too easy. Junkie. 
<laughs> man sitting in the corner shooting up Android drugs. What are Androids? What kind of drugs would an Android use? I don't know. Like shooting up with like nanobites or something. Can we go in there? No. Okay. the next graffiti right. okay wait a minute this looks oddly familiar yes All right okay okay I see it okay I see what they wait, wait a minute wait a minute that's neat you gotta kind of stand like right there to kind of get. Yep. See, I'm smart. I could be intuitive sometimes. Well. All right. Now where is that? Uh, it looks like it's over here. It's like the journey of the ring, man. Like, oh! Okay. Man. Feels like we're traveling to Mordor to throw the ring into the volcano. Whoever is here, they definitely don't want to be found. The shipyard? That's what it looks like. Um well, I'm okay. out here that's what I want to know follow trail okay jump okay that's a leap of faith if I've ever seen one Man. Mm -hmm. 
locked as well. This is a ship. Oh, this is a recent issue, so that's a good sign. Yeah. Okay. So somebody's been down here recently. That's what I can estimate from seeing that magazine here. Oh my gosh. My heart. Oh, my itty bitty heart. What the? F Give me a second, y'all. Hmm. Oh, okay. Don't let anybody tell you that this game does not have elements of horror in it. Cause I straight up almost sharp my pants just now. Can it not go that way? Okay. Explore the boat. Can't go. Can't go that way it seems. Oh, we can. Okay. Welcome to Jericho. <laughs> Is that all you got? Welcome to Jericho? I guess. Oh, man. Damn. That seemed like a lot longer than it needed to be. Hmm. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Detroit Become Human. Uh, I know I did. Um, besides that little bit where I just got the bejeebus just scared out of me. Um, yeah, um, yeah, sometimes I really do wish I could have a phone a friend in these situations. Um, I had to pause the game for a quick minute to figure out what was going on, but we made it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, <clears throat> tell me what am I doing wrong, um, what you would do better. Um, and until next time, I'll see you all later.